welcome to Make Something Every Day. Today we will be creating a watercolor wreath. So over here I have a watercolor set. It is portable. It's from Tapu Doru in Richmond Hill. It's 42 colors and it's absolutely fantastic if you travel and you don't want to carry a large palette. It includes a watercolor brush which you just add water and all the colors fold out very very easily. And there's even a little area over here where you can mix your palette. So this is a fine mister um, and it's great. It's from the dollar store and you just lightly spray your palette to re-wet it instead of adding gobs of water from your paintbrush. This is my watercolor book. It's 140 pounds um, and it is from Michaels and it's cold press. This watercolor book is absolutely fantastic because you can paint on both sides, the front and the back, and it doesn't really bleed through. And it seems like my favorite things to paint are flowers because they're very vibrant and they make me really happy. So first step in creating this watercolor wreath, grab something that's a circle and trace it lightly with your pencil. And this will be the outline for the wreath. I usually just go ahead and er erase in all directions just to get rid of the lines because it's hard to erase it after you paint. So the next step, just create a couple flowers. Choose two or three colors from your palette and start painting your roses. When I paint roses, I add a lot of color in the center and I keep adding water to lighten it up. So every petal I create, I just add more water so it looks like there's a little bit of shadow and this is only the first layer because in watercolors we work in layers so it doesn't need to be too detailed just get the rough look of the roses first. So grab your second color and start adding more roses. Don't worry too much if the paint color spills from one flower to another because it actually looks pretty cool. Now that you've finished your flowers, choose a couple greens. Draw a thin line where your circle is and add a few leaves. A little tip from me, every single color has its own characteristics. So one green can have a certain amount of leaves and another green can have thinner leaves. And that's what makes a painting unique. A pattern that repeats itself in certain areas and it ties the whole painting together. So just keep adding different leaves and different shades of green, keeping in mind that every single leaf and every single color has its own characteristics. So right now there's a lot of empty areas and I just don't want to keep adding leaves. So I'm dotting some red paint and it's not going to be a rose, it's actually going to be a poppy. So just add a goober of paint and add some water, it doesn't need to look good. And on the second layer, once it's dried, we'll add some details in the center. So now that the first layer is dried on the red, just grab your dark purple, I try not to use black, and add a few little dots. And now it looks like a poppy. Yay, we're almost done. Fill in any empty areas with some brown leaves and brown vines. Well, thank you for joining me in my craft room today. And I hope you learned a little bit about watercolor painting and how you can create a very simple watercolor wreath. Feel your mind, body, and soul. Make something every day. If you like this episode, please subscribe. See you next time.